everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and look, I have a different setup. I don't know how long I'm going to like, uh, it'll last, or if I like it, or whatever, but it's a little different, so you'll kind of see my new makeup setup as we pick out products to use for next week. In front of you are products from last week. I was pretty good about picking stuff because I am um, doing a couple project pans. So I'm going to set these products to the side and we're going to go through and pick products for the upcoming week. So if that sounds like something you would like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Okay, so here is the new setup. I had that blue cart and the cart fit better in this room, but my makeup was so creamed on top of each other that I couldn't see it, and I was worried about it getting kind of destroyed being like that long term. So, um, I brought, this was in my closet. I used to do my makeup baskets in this while it was in my closet, but then I got the, uh, my little beauty room. Uh, so it's a lot bigger. It doesn't fit as cute as the blue cart, but I think it's going to be more functional. So there's nothing in this top drawer. Um, let me zoom you out and you can see my little Morty Bear's tail. Um, and then, like I said, just an overview going down. Hi, Morty. This is the little guy that barks all the time in the background. <laughs> top is just like single eyeshadows and eye products. Then we have um, all my face products. And then... Um, here are all of my eyeshadow products. And then on the very bottom, it's just like curling um, and filming stuff. So this, like I said, that top one is empty. I think what I'm going to do is put brushes in there, brushes I'm not using, and then just like makeup that's not open. I don't have very much of that, but I think it would go um, really well in here. So that's the overview. So let's just dive into picking products. Oh my gosh, you guys remember the days of seeing little Morty in all my weekly makeup baskets? Now you can see him again. Aww. Alright, so this is the face drawer. You guys know I like to start off with face. I will say, I used to be opposed to having, like, makeup in multiple drawers because I felt like it was going to make me more of a makeup hoarder, but let's just accept that I like makeup and have a lot of it, and it is what it is. Um... Okay, so anyways, face is what I like to start off with. I'm still painting a primer and a foundation. Um, I do want to pull another foundation just because I don't particularly like using the one I have every day. I have the Neutrogena. This is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint, and this one is in 40 Nude. I really like this. It seems, seems like from all the reviews that it works better for people who have very dry skin. Um, and I do, and it works wonderful for me. So I am going to pull this for the week in addition to, um, like I said, I have my primer and foundation. I do want to pull like an aluminizer of some sort. Um, let's go back to the one back here that I haven't pulled in a while. This is um, Bubbly by Copper FX. This one I is obviously a sample that I've said is kind of drying, um, but I want to play with it this week and see if I like like it. I really want to pick up the um, Maybelline one that is like a, a squeezy, that is the strobing cream. I am still like, I'm like a month now without buying makeup, and I almost bought some last week at um, the drugstore, but it is so expensive. Like I had three items in my hand and it was 30, it would have been $35. I'm like, that's so crazy. I do have a 20% off my entire Ulta order that expires today. So we'll see if I end up putting an order in. I know I need face lotion. <laughs> so I mean, I might as well pick out a couple other things, right? Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, and I really want to pick up the other. This is the It Cosmetics um, Jonas Sequa CC Plus Radiance. They have a peach one that I really want to pick up. So I might end up getting those two things and maybe the Maybelline Strobe Cream. We'll see what happens. Um, we're living in the moment, you know. I am panning a, um, what is it? A concealer. So I'm not going to pull concealer. I'm going to go to my It Cosmetics powder. This is the Celebration Foundation Illumination and Light. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm so torn. Um, Kristen has a brand new one of these that she offered to sell me. Um, 
and I really love this powder, so I'm tempted to buy it, but the part of me that always wants to try something new is like, no, try something new, but I love this one, so why do I want to try something new? It's just, it's complicated. Loving makeup is very complicated. Um, so my face is set, I have all the products for that. So let's go into bronzers, and here is something I haven't pulled in so long. So the last few weeks I've been pulling products that I haven't touched in a long time because I was pulling the same things all the time, so I needed to switch it up. But this is the Naked Flush and Streak. This is what it looks like. I really like the bronzer, highlight, and blush. It's been months, probably last summer, maybe two times other than that, since I pulled this. So I need to pull this. So that is a bronzer and I am panning a bronzer as well so that's two bronzers and I'm painting a blush and that's a blush that's two blushes and I'm painting a highlight and that's a highlight so that's two highlights for the week um but knowing me is that enough is that enough I do need something to set my under eyes um I am still enjoying the Laura, Laura Mercier translucent powder it's just such a finely milled powder I get what all the hype is about people wanting to use it all the time so I could pull that um and then honestly my other options are these wet and wild ones or the elf contour but I'm just gonna do this because I don't need all the other products so I'll pull this powder again and is that all do I want to be extra oh my gosh I loved this bare minerals blush the one Meg if you're watching this this is another very natural blush it's a little more expensive obviously being bare minerals but the one is just like that perfect flush on your cheeks it's absolutely wonderful Ooh, i do want to pull one of these i want to pull um this is the nyx ombre blush i wouldn't mind having a couple more of these as well but this one is in mauve me and it's just so pretty on the cheeks so i think i might pull this even if i just wear it for today i'm gonna grab that and I think that is all for this drawer. So we're going to go on to eyes. Okay, so these are like my small eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadows and then just like mascara and stuff. So um, what I really want to pull, I have this Urban Decay eyeshadow. This is in Midnight Cowboy. I got this back in October. It was Ulta's birthday gift. I haven't used it since. So what I want to do is pull my Urban Decay palette and I'm going to pull out this one. Ugh. I can get it out. This one is Lounge and I'm going to put in this Cowboy one. Okay, so here we have um, the Midnight Cowboy. We have, oh gosh, I always forget what this one is. This is Space Cowboy. Those are different, right? Yeah, Midnight Cowboy, Space Cowboy, Solstice, and I think Sin. So those are really pretty. I love Solstice. Y'all know. Um, so I'm going to pull this, but I do need some neutral colors to go with it because that one is so glittery and obviously it's not a full palette. I did see Ulta has these back on their website. These are the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palettes. This one in particular is in warm neutrals. So you can, um, they had them on there which is when I bought this with the 20% off. Then they took them off and you can only get them on Ulta's website. I'm not Ulta, uh, NYX's website and now it's back. It's back! So that's super exciting. Um, I don't feel as guilty talking about it now that it's back. Um, but as far as mascara, I think this super size, or super size me one is um, almost done or expired. So I'm going to pull it one more week and check to see. I always go back to my old makeup baskets to see how old my mascaras are. So I'm going to see if this one's still good. Um... So, so lashy. I'm going to just say that to say. I'm going to go to Essence Lash Princess again. I love Bless Essence Lash Princess. So, going to grab that. I'm going to keep pulling the um, Bare, I'm sorry, Benefits Kapow. Oh, it is a number three. Remember last week I couldn't find a number. It's a number three. Um, I'm going to keep pulling. This is the Gimme Brow in number one. And um, this, this is L'Oreal Burnett. Um... 
brow product. I mostly just use this Fuli, but pull that for the week. Ah, just dropping all the stuff. All right. Is that everything for it in here? I think so. I'm trying. I think I'm going to pull a bigger palette to get something that's more neutral. So that's everything for this drawer. Okay, here are my eyeshadow palettes that are a little bit bigger. Oh, man. I don't have a ton of palettes. Um, I really like them. Like, you know the Modern Renaissance one from Anastasia still calls my name. But they're kind of overwhelming because there's so much product in each of these that it's like, I mean, why add, why? It's just too much. Um, I think what, I, here are some NYX ones. Um, this is NYX uh, Nouveau Chic. I noticed they have some that are like the lingerie palettes. I wonder how the quality is on those. This one isn't completely neutral or easy to use. Neither is the um, Avent or Art Throb. I think I'm going to do this. This is the Maya Mia by Anastasia. Maya Mia by Anastasia. This is what it looks like. One of my all-time favorite palettes, I say this in every video, they don't sell this particular palette, but you can buy all these colors individually from their website. Um, absolutely adore this, especially Sienna, as you can tell. The nude one's really easy to use. Um, I'm sorry, this is Glisten. Sienna's good, Caramel's good, it's good to mix them together, and that warm taupe color is awesome. Like, if you were to go pick up colors, like you saw this palette and you wanted to know which ones are worth your time, it would be Sienna, Warm Hope, Caramel, and Glisten, like this quad right here. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pull that, and I think that is everything for this video. Um, I don't pull lip products because I don't have that many lip products. I'm going to film a lip to clutter here soon. That will be posted. I did not post a video this week. I just timed that away from me. But I will have videos coming out like I usually do in the upcoming week. So, you know, sometimes life gets in the way. So let's look at my basket for this. Up all right, here are all the products I'm going to use for this upcoming week. Um, quite a bit of an off spare, but keep in mind I am panning a lot of products. I'll have those videos linked down below. Um, like I said, no video last week. Time got away from me, but there will be videos coming up. There will be a lip declutter. There will be a project pan finale. There will be a rolling project pan update. Um, and I have some other videos in mind to film some, you guys know I like to come up with some creative stuff. So I have one brewing in my mind that I just need to take time to get filmed. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!